Hello everyone, welcome to another video. Thank you so much for joining us again. Now, this is gonna be a slightly different one. I'm back at the repair shop, uh, walking down the lane. It's been a while since I've done this, to be honest. The shirt, the gray shirt made by McNear, um, beautiful shirt I've worn every single day to the repair shop for, God, I don't know how long, three series now, a long time. Um, and we've got a problem. I've broken it, um, ironically, at the repair shop. I've got something on my own that needs repairing. What perfect opportunity to make a video to show you guys how darning and visible repairs can be done. So when things like this happen to you uh, and you want to actually save and reuse and repurpose your clothes, instead of just throwing it out and buying a new one. The problem is down here, strange location for it, but on this bottom corner, it's basically worn through and I've got a hole, but it's repairable. Uh, and I'm all for trying to show and promote and educate and, in, and inspire people to save their clothes and save their, their belongings and actually th this can carry on. I just need to get it repaired. And luckily the bears are in this week, Julie and Amanda. I'm gonna try and sweet talk Amanda and see if she will show us how she does darning and how to repair this massive hole in my lovely shirt. Let's see if I can find them. This is basically the start of a new series. We've had a few new props dotted around the barn. Um, this bike is one of them. Kirsten is taking full advantage of it. <laughs> right, I've, got my, I've got my jacket, I've got my shirt. Oh, there's another hole in it there. Oh man, this is knackered. Amanda? Yes. Hello. Hello. Say hello to what YouTube. Me? Hello YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> I need your help. Uh, this, well, you, I've had this, this shirt for Years. This one, yeah? Yeah, you must recognise it. Look I at the bottom corner. Oh no. Oh Dom. It's it's a it's wool, it's a nice shirt. Just to demonstrate here, look at that. There is a problem. Flip. I think I think it might be the sparks from the angle grinding. Do you? That burnt I don't know, because it's no. a weird old place to It looks more to me like it's been rubbed like you know, like when you walk in. Hang on. I'm going in. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Sushi. Do you think, like, when you kind of put my hand in my pocket? Yeah. When you sort of rub it and it's going there as well, Tom. That might well be a spark. Okay. Oh, it's great. got a different look to it. My question is sorry. My question is basically, can you fix it? Yes, can I it, can. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um. Can Can you patch it up? What What do you reckon? I'm trying I to... think it would be really nice to do. A, a visible mend on it. I always think yes. Yeah. Perfect. Darn it, but in a sort of contrasting colour, so that we can see the darn. Yeah. I from the front. It, yeah, yeah. It'll add to the character of your jacket. Well, there's little flicks of na of navy blue. If you look under the collar. Oh yeah. Yeah. Perfect. Show us that. Yeah. All right. Not the dirty bit. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, it's ever so snug, isn't it? It's warm, yes. Yeah, it's merino it's, wool. It's lovely. Isn't it? It's really warm. It'd be a bit. Ooh. Oh. Oh. It's a bit tight right there, Jess. <laughs> but open. It looks good. It seems you. That's yeah. it. Yeah. Got a pencil in the pocket. Look, you're ready to go. You might not get this back. <laughs> <laughs> are you going to trust me then to do my thing with it? Absolutely. I will not interfere. I will try. Well, I was not saying I won't interfere. <laughs> if you don't mind, uh, I'd love this to be a bit of a tutorial, a kind oh, of how to. Okay. Do you okay. mind? No, not at all. Because I don't know how to do it. I kind of understand the principle, but it would be nice to learn from an expert. Okay. The gist of how to do it. Okay. Just so anybody watching that has a similar situation could actually Give have a go. go, have a go themselves. Yep. Do you mind? No, I'd love to. Do I'll you... let you get started. Yeah. Problem is, I need to wear it. We're filming. How are we going to do? Have we got another one? <laughs> no, we've <it's>, only <I've> <laughs> got one. This is the potential problem. I'll go make a start. Yes. Good. Thank you. <laughs> Time has passed, it's now the next day. Um, I've unfortunately given Amanda some homework uh, because it was a little bit worse than we were expecting. So she stormed ahead, but we're gonna pass over to Amanda now and yes. get a bit of an explanation about how and where you would start doing something like this. Okay, so I spent last night putting in the weaves, which are these long stitches that go up and down. So if you can imagine when a piece of fabric, you've got your weave going this way and your weft 
goes that way. I always remember weft to white. Weft. So <laughs> weft to white, so it goes that way. <laughs> That's the only way I can remember it. Um, so what I thought I'd do is get us to this stage where all the weaves are in. I've started with the wefting. I don't know if that's a proper term. It's wefting, I like wefting. it. Yeah. And Dom's now going to have a go at doing his own jacket. I'm going to do it myself. Well, I thought I'm at a good position where I've actually really started to make progress. You can come in. Will you show us first, at yeah, least? okay. Give me a okay. clue. Okay, okay. Because I've never done this before. Okay, so leave that long thread there because we don't need that. Tuck this in. So I need to come out under here. So the idea is, as you weave in and out. So these, these are these all individual. This is like a massive long stitch, basically back yes, and forwards, up and down. Yes. Over over the top of. So this is the the shirt fabric. That's the shirt fabric, and then you just looped over the top. Yeah. Sometimes, like here, I've actually just woven in and out of your jacket, but this part of the fabric was so weak. I've woven a new patch and I've actually backed the back so there's some wool felt on the back here as well which will give it some strength. Okay. All right. Because it was a big old patch that was that was sort of just so thin. Yes, it had completely not only had it worn thin, it had started to distort out of shape. Oh. So it was stretching, so I've had to kind of pull everything back to get it into the right shape. So our weaves and wefts are all going in the same direction. So the the key here is as you start a row, you do the opposite to what you've done before. So if you started with an overloop, this next row would go under first. Okay, I'm with you. And you alternate them. So if you see, so and I tend to use a nice big long needle and I go under, over, under, over, under, over. And you keep going. This is why it's really, where am I? Over, under, over. And is it, can you see that? Yeah. You keep going. Can't see around the corner. No, I've missed one. Oh. Where am I going? Let me pull that through. Have a look. And you can see. But that's all loose though. Well, it is at the moment. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make my patch like this. And then, once I've done it all, I'm going to anchor it to the back, that, that lining fabric that I've put behind. And that's oh, I where see. the strength is. Because I was going to say, because this at the moment then, you're, you're we, I guess, up and over, up and over, yep. back and forwards, back and forwards. Yes. But then it's gonna, the whole thing will be separate to the shirt. No, it won't be. Not when I finish, because these stitches I put here is where they are, where I squared up the weave, if and, you like. And stuck the patch on the back. Yes, so this Ooh. will all be anchored onto these. And it will you it'll just look like it. So you'll grew pick there. up these little stitches around the edge. Yeah. You'll pick when you get to the end of the line, yeah. you'll pick that up, yeah. go under that, yeah. and then back along and back the other way again. Yes, you've got it. So where am I? Alright, let's try and see that live. Yeah. Over, under, over, under. Dustly. Lovely jubbly, yeah. So you can see it coming through. So at the moment that's still completely separate to the shirt. And then pick up that stitch there. Oh, she misses because she's doing it with the wrong hand. Or sort of cat handed like that. Sometimes I have made it not easy for myself because I haven't got a really strong firm background, but it the work. Okay. So this time as you can see the last one I went under. Can you see I've gone under my weave yeah so i'm so going to start gonna go off i'm going to go over and under over so um, alternating it yeah alternating it all the way along where am i over over under, under over under over and it, actually as you um work it will start to firm up more i find this really therapeutic do you? Yeah, I find it really therapeutic. I can get absolutely lost in this. So um, if the, when you're going under, yes, would you not pick up the shirt fabric as you go under and over? Is, that, would, is that a way? There is, that is a way, is, which is what I've done here. But when I came to doing this patch, it's so weak 
that I would I was just breaking the They're threads. Just break. Okay. So I've decided what I'm doing is actually making a custom patch for your jacket. Over the top. With, over right. the top, and but then I will secure it through. I sort of anchor it with some stitches around the edge as well that will go through that patch I've put on the back. So if if the shirt wasn't as bad as it is, yep. you would go over and under, over and under. Yes. But I'll use the original. Yes, because if threads. you've still got the the weft there, for example, you can go in and out with your new thread, just using what's left. So you'd only have half blue, half grey. Yeah. Yeah. It was really, really. Thin. I just want to yeah. still be able to wear it. I've had this shirt for years. Well, do you know what? I think this is actually a great way of customising a piece of clothing. Um, I mean, you could disguise all sorts of things with a nice, neat darn. What, or... like a, yeah, a stain? Yeah. A hole? Like yeah. a what? This would work well. Actually, that'd be really nice, an elbow patch. Yes. Wouldn't it? Yeah. If you'd worn your you... elbow through. Yeah, because you can do it in different shapes. As long as you mark out your shape first, it doesn't have to be a square. You can make all different shapes with it. And you could also embroider shapes, which is really oh. nice. So that, so it all starts, really, the shape of the actual patch or the, the darn section starts with that stitch around the outside yeah, yeah. so even on on a one that's not worn as bad like yeah. down here yeah would you still do the stitch yes if i'm using a backing um yeah fabric yes yeah and if, if you weren't using the backing fabric you can just go whichever shape you fancy yeah you can freehand it but i think the better you get the, the more um confident you get the more you can play around with it try to keep this as kind of straight forward so I can show you what I'm actually doing. Yeah, absolutely. Um, but I do think it's time you had go. Go on then. You ready? I'll give it a go. You'll have to have a go at filming though. Okay. So you've gone under, then the stitch, so I need to start over. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Over. Yeah. Come on, Dot. You under. Can knit. Over. Under. Yeah. Over. Under. Oh, look at this. Oh, oh so it's doing it for me. I guess because the previous yes, one's it holding it. it. Yeah, and the more you do, the easier it gets. Oh, have I done that wrong? Over, under, over, under, over, under. I might have over. Over, under. Just keep going, keep going. Oh, man. When we do this on a bear... Do it, you do this? Yeah, you do yeah, this. I use this sometimes to fill a hole that might be on a bear. Because I think on a vintage bear, this type of work is so fit. It sort of fits in with the age yeah. so well. Um, it looks like they've had a bit of life. You're okay. really concentrating, Dom. I'm going to be sticking my tongue out soon. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> right, that's, my, well, that's one line done. We were talking about Tix doing that this morning because we were speaking to some school children and they said, is there anything you've had to learn not to do when you're being filmed? That's a good question. <laughs> it's a great That's question. That's a good swear. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or like you put on that concentration face that we put all on do. That. Yeah, I always end up sticking my tongue out. Yeah, okay, okay. So this is a, probably a lot smaller for you than anything. This is, yeah, absolutely. I'm not used to... Although we've got quite a big needle, to be fair. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You need quite... A, it depends on what you're... And now, if I was doing this on a bear, I'd use a much finer thread and a much smaller needle right um, to, and yeah. to stop any damage over under over under over under, over, under back and forwards back and forwards okay i'll tell you what else i've got oh no we've got love. an audience now look who's turned up who is it oh me oh she's coming around there hello me julie hello. how's you doing that? the pressure's on now don't don't be judging no. me no you missed one there though where You've gone two under instead of one over. Oh no. That's the line I've just done. No, I... no you right, I can see what you've done. Oh yeah, yeah you've got look, two. you've all gone so you sh you've got two going under. Oh you you're kidding go... me. Yes, yeah, so you just need to pull one row back. I've just done that's the one line I've just done. Well it's a good thing <laughs> I spotted it, it now. <laughs> is all I can say. <laughs> keep going, keep going. Keep going, you're doing fine. Shall I pull just... it back? No, we can storm ahead. We can carry on. Storm on. Okay. This will definitely be your Right, so yeah, that's okay. Yeah, that's it. So under there, over there, yeah, under there, that's over it. there. No, you've gone under. Under so there. So you've gone wrong ah. somewhere. Oh. You've always got to do the opposite of the one you're next to. So that's a definitely an under. But so... that line's wrong though. Yeah. 
If I That's why I said maybe put it I've back. done one wrong somewhere. Oh my! Yeah. Oh man, we, look! I'm going to storm ahead. I'm going to storm ahead. That's it. It's um, not then under. Oh yeah, any. I see. Yeah, no. Under there, mm. over there. Nah, see, that's where you've gone wrong, Dom. Shall I go again? <laughs> it's just quite good having a tutor. <laughs> it is very helpful. Apart from you just instantly pointed out I've done it wrong already. Do you know? Right. Do you know what? Go on. I have a little gadget that you can learn to do this with. Would you like to see it? Because I know you like your tools and things. Yes. Let me see. Look at that. One little one out of place won't matter. Oh, good. That's, that's character custom. building. Yeah. Yes, exactly. Right. It's customised. Right, take this off me then. Okay. See, you can see where I've been and where Dom's been, but oh. I think for yeah. a first go, it's because so yeah. you've got three. Yeah, see, so you went. But was it your tutelage that was... <gasps> no, I definitely said... Can you see there? What You've done three unders. Three? Yeah, yeah three. Look. look, one, two, three. They've all gone under. Oh, you're kidding. Oh, because I've missed There's one. I've, been, I've missed the un... Um, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's but kind of... for a first go, I think that's pretty good. And actually, I think I'm going to leave that in the middle. I think it's going to look really nice, actually, with the blue against the grey. Yeah, I like we the colour. Visible yeah. mending, aren't we? Of course, I've gone wrong. Right in the middle. Twice. Visible mending. It's... The new, for, the way forward, let's put it that yeah. way. <laughs> These two are being very polite. Um, I'm blaming the pressure. It, the principles of it is quite straightforward. Up and over, up and over, loop around the end and come sure, back the other way. Right. And just do that in both directions. That sounds good. Bye. I'll leave you to it. You're doing fine. Thank you, Julie. Thank you very much. Bye. Good Bye. luck this afternoon. Amanda says there's a tool for this. There is. I can't quite understand how there is a tool other than a needle to do this but we are about to get an explanation yes. have you ever seen those old darning mushrooms no 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 see you can get these wooden mushrooms that people used to put inside a sock what or, yeah these nab me scissors they were here yeah you put them inside your sock so you've got a nice you can get a nice round heel and things and you darn over the mushroom oh to hold the shape yeah. ah Oh, that's interesting. Over yeah. the like the heel of the yeah. sock. Right. God, who would have time to? I suppose that's what these people used to do. That's all they could do. Darn isn't their it? socks and so keep. So this, yeah. this little look at this. Nice. Okay. Okay. So this is like a loom. So I've cut a hole underneath there. Can you see? Okay. So the piece of brown fabric is Felt. my shirt or whatever. Yeah. We'll yeah. pretend it's Dom's shirt, but this loom isn't big enough to use on my shirt because it's too knackered. Shirt. Yeah, so I'm going to go in here where I finished on that bit of thread. Now, what is lovely about this little thing is you've got these great little hooks at the top. Right. So when you get to the end of a row, you flip them the other side and it lifts up the row you're supposed to be going through so you can't miss. So you can't do what I've literally just done. Yeah, isn't that good? Go on, flip it and flip it again for us. You ready? So that's putting the ups up and yeah. the downs down. So that time you would only go, yeah. Do it. Can you do it a couple more times? Yeah. So I'll go back there. So when they're in that position, sorry, I need to be in this position. So I flip over and that one. That is genius. Isn't it? And then you go, oh no, I'm in the wrong one. So I go back this way, like that. And I pick up like this and you literally go Just feed through. Feed it through. The gap, yeah, like that. And pull it. And when you get to this end, so then you neaten it up, get it into place, and then you flip it back that way. And that's all the ones you've just gone under, then yeah. go to the bottom, and all the ones that you've just gone over come to the top. Isn't it cool? Is that what's happening? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, you got it. So it's secure. So it can't literally can't go wrong. Although I could probably still manage to make it go wrong, but. Well, I thought maybe for you this might be the way because you're seeing it from a, a and more then you're mechanical... still so when you when you get to the end you're still going yeah catching it you're still putting the picking up the fabric yeah yeah otherwise it wouldn't so you go right through like that see nice and then, Isn't that then, that, good? then then this loose end you'll Don't then you pick, pick up. up so you pick up here. Like that. Yeah. Flip the clips over and then round the level. 
flip them. Goes through your gap. And I guess you keep doing that until you get to the end and then the last one will go through all of the loops yes. and then it's off the machine. Yes. And what I love about this, if I wanted to, I could actually, rather, I, yes, I can use it to mend a hole, but I can also make a patch that I can actually remove and put onto something else. So if you didn't pick it up on the fabric at the edge? Oh. Yeah, so when I finished, I could cut around you this. You cut it out. And put it wherever I want it. Isn't ah, that cool? nice. Well, I think it yeah. is. Yeah. It's a great little tool. Um, unfortunately, it's good for mending pieces of fabric, not good for bears because you'd have to get underneath the fabric. And if and they're, they're small, they're quite 3D, aren't they? So that's that's yeah. very flat. Yeah. You can't get inside the old. So there you go. That is genius. What an invention. Isn't it great? And it's just held on with an elastic band. Yeah, and a little two, bit. yeah, two elastic bands. And then when you've finished, you just take off your elastic bands. And you've got this lovely woven piece of brilliant and of course you can do it finer if you use a smaller needle finer thread you can get it really really close together i'm using this quite open look so that it's so easier to see demonstrate it. Yeah. yeah 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 i guess if you match the color and yeah. thickness of the thread to the actual yeah. material that's got the hole in it you'd hardly see it yeah so it could be a, an invisible repair yeah isn't that brilliant? So we're making a bit of a feature of the shirt with the blue because there's other little details on it that are blue. But yeah, you could do this in the same colour and it's there's no reason why... Well, that's going to be as strong as the rest of the shirt, I imagine. Yeah, because, yes, it will be. When I've finished it, you... Yeah, because yeah. Amanda's gone far enough out from the damaged area to good... It's a bit like when I'm welding. Um, you have to have to chop out enough of the damaged rusty metal until you get to good, decent, solid metal. Same thing, but in fabric. Actually, although we work in different mediums, some of the things we have to do are pretty similar. You can see that, that yeah. sort of similarity between them. Like you have to get to an edge that's good enough to, to hold your weld or whatever you do. And we have to find a piece of fabric that's strong enough for us to sew. To sew onto. So, exactly the same thing. I'm yeah. sort of stitching so you, the welding. So yeah. yeah, so your repair is usually bigger than the hole you started with. Yes. Has to be. Because it gets it gets worse. Yeah. It look, doesn't look as bad. It get, yeah. Things get worse before they get better. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. So Love there you it. go. Lunchtime is over. We are going to have to get back to actual repairing. You know it's been an absolute pleasure, Dom. Oh, thank you. I thank really you so enjoyed much. It. No, Good. Thank you for having me. It's, it's been, been, been okay. Yeah, really nice. Thank you. Good. Well, it's a bit of a change for the channel. Yeah, absolutely. It's a bit different and a bit of a different topic for you to sort of. Absolutely. But I have to say now I'm going to go and have to finish your shirt. Yes, stop with this, get on with the shirt, yeah. and actually get back to work in the barn. <laughs> <laughs> See you later. Right, we need to get back into the barn before we get in trouble. Um, do you reckon you'll finish it today? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. She's confident, I like the confidence. Oh, yeah. That's it, yeah, that's good. Because I've got another scene this afternoon that I need to wear it in. Four o'clock? Yes. Done by four. I'll right, we'll come back at four o'clock, we'll see you then. See you later. See you later. <laughs> right, it's getting on for four o'clock. Amanda promised me she'd be ready by four. I'm about to go into a reveal with Dean. I need my shirt. <laughs> she's laughing Aha! yeah I've done it right so, on cue right on cue look at that she's done it it's finished let's have a look let's have a, let's have a little a close up <laughs> look Dom I've left your little little beginner's error I've my just, error that, oh no it's a beginner you know beginner's little error there I've left it because I think it's rather sweet <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure every time I look at that now it's like oh great no, I like Amanda it. Did the rest. I like it. Gives it character. It makes it yours. Brilliant. How did it go? Is it okay? Yeah, yeah. It. Uh, I must admit, when I first started to work on it, I thought this is going to be harder than I, you know, imagined it was going to be. But now that I've done it, I think it's really cool, actually. Good. I really like it. It looks beautiful. It it's looks. That, it's just what I was hoping for. Really, it's got that rustic look. Well, it's just honest. Yeah. It's just not absolutely. honest. Absolutely. Yeah. It's, it's my old shirt. Yeah, and I've given you an added little bonus. Oh, well, you found another hole? A tiny little hole. Oh, so goodness. Added... That one looks like a burn, do you reckon? I think it could have been, yeah. Yeah. Like look, a little uh -oh. spark. So I've sort of caught that oh, one Oh, thank you. you so much. I think, can I just say? Yeah. I think we should continue with this shirt as you wear it out in places. Well, it's going to happen again, inevitably. Yeah. What, you're up for, for darning it up again? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, and maybe putting a little flower on the pocket. Nice. Is that too far? That Maybe. Too far? Well, it depends on the colour. <laughs> grey one. Grey flower? Grey. Well, we can't have a pink one. <laughs> and blue. Small. Blue. Maybe small. 
But anyway, yes, there you go. I love well it. Done. Yeah, we'll carry well it on. Done. Well, hopefully it won't happen again for a while. No, I hope not. But, uh, but there we go. My favourite shirt come. repaired, ready yeah. for action. I've got all get, yours. Yeah, all mine. Thank you. Enjoy. Thank you very much. And You're welcome. Lovely. I hope uh, that everybody has learned something from this. Yeah. Um, I don't see why not. I mean, I think we've we've covered all the bases. I think it's just nice that we've been able to say to people, it's good to repair and it doesn't matter if that repair shows. It looks, you know, like it's meant to be there. It's like a fashion statement. Let's make these visible repairs. Let's be proud of these darns, you know, wear them with pride and keep all these lovely old things going. Exactly. It's my favourite shirt and it can carry on now being my favourite shirt. Yeah, absolutely. Not a beautiful patch with <laughs> one mistake bang in the middle. <laughs> I hope you've learned something from that. Thank you so much for watching and a big thank you to you. You're very welcome. I really appreciate it. I've got to get in this reveal now. Wish me luck. See you later. Bye.